Vladimir Putin, in the context of the ongoing conflict in Ukraine, has leveled serious accusations against the leader of PMC Wagner, Yevgeny Prigozhin. Putin has accused Prigozhin of both treason and armed mutiny. The leader of Russia has recently spoken to the public after becoming fed up with his former comrade, who is now spearheading a rebellion against the nation's defense ministry and has commandeered a crucial city that the military uses as a base for directing operations in Ukraine. The leader of the Wagner mercenary group has been charged with acts of treason and inciting rebellion by none other than Russian President Vladimir Putin himself. He expressed his disapproval of the actions taken by Yevgeny Prigozhin, a former comrade turned rebel who is currently leading a movement to remove the Russian defense minister. He denounced these actions as a betrayal of trust and a stab in the back to the brave soldiers and citizens of the nation. The man dubbed Putin's chef had been previously allowed to spout off his rants and threats by the Russian leader due to the man's ownership of catering businesses that provided sustenance to the Kremlin. However, the leader's forbearance has reached its limit in light of the present civil turmoil. As per the Ministry of Defence of the UK, the challenge presented by the confrontation stands as the most momentous obstacle for the Russian state in recent memory. Amid Prigozhin's assertions that he and his forces had made it to Rostov-on-Don by crossing the Russian-Ukrainian border, a crisis ensued as he proclaimed his success in seizing crucial locations such as the airfield. Within the city lies the central command center for the Russian military, which oversees the execution of operations in Ukraine. According to the Kremlin, the mercenary group has taken control of defense infrastructure located in the city of Voronezh, which is situated approximately 310 miles, 500 kilometers, to the south of Moscow. Prigozhin has made a solemn promise to eliminate any obstacles that may impede his progress. He stated that it was not a rebellion involving weapons, rather a march to seek justice. In a televised speech, Putin responded to the situation by stating that it was tantamount to a mutiny with weapons. In response to this action, Russia will take necessary measures to safeguard its interests and resist any attempts to encroach upon its sovereignty. Our battle is to protect the lives and safety of our citizens. The intention is to undermine us from within. Our soldiers and the citizens of Russia have been betrayed by this act, which is akin to a surprise attack from behind. According to him, the West's military, economic and information apparatus is entirely directed against their group. The ongoing conflict where the destiny of our nation hangs in the balance necessitates the merging of all available resources, solidarity, coherence and accountability. Russia's betrayers are those who orchestrated and prepared a violent insurrection, who turned their weapons against their fellow soldiers. This act of betrayal will not go unanswered. Governor Alexander Gusev confirmed that the Russian army is currently engaged in executing combat measures in the Voronezh region, which is part of their counter-terrorism operations. For a considerable period of time, Prigozhin has engaged in a dispute with the Moscow Defense Ministry, spearheaded by Sergei Shoigu. Prigozhin asserts that Shoigu had directed his troops to attack and destroy Wagner's camps in Ukraine, resulting in the death of a significant number of comrades. According to his testimony, the attack took place after he labelled the highest-ranking members of the country's military as malevolent. Additionally, he denounced the Kremlin's justification for its invasion of Ukraine in February of last year, claiming that it was founded upon falsehoods. Moscow has denied these allegations, dismissing them as both false and an act of provocation. The FSB Security Agency has appealed to the mercenary combatants to abstain from executing treasonous and unlawful commands and to apprehend Prigozhin. The increased security measures in Moscow serve as proof of the severity with which the Kremlin regards the potential threat. The results of the confrontation were not yet definitive, but it seemed probable that it would impede Moscow's efforts in the war. The counter-offensive launched by Kiev's forces tested the defenses of Russia in the initial stages of the conflict. Russia's war in Ukraine has been heavily influenced by the Wagner forces, who have played a pivotal role in the conflict. Their efforts have led to the capture of Bakhmut, the site of some of the most brutal and extended battles of the war. Over time, Prigozhin has become more vocal in his critique of the military leadership in Russia. 
He has accused them of lacking competence and neglecting to provide his troops with the proper weaponry and ammunition they need. To support our channel's growth and ensure broader awareness, kindly hit the like and subscribe buttons. This will help us reach more individuals and disseminate valuable information. Thank you in advance.